All right, guys, today it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and I wanted to do something different. I wanted to wake up. I wanted to do a walking video. I'm here on 7th Street in Joplin, the old Route 66, up here on Florida and 7th. Now, there are multiple Route 66s that came on into Joplin because... Uh, when usually Route 66 in the past came into a bigger town, it split up into a few places. But this is part of the, not the main Route 66. That's more north of Joplin that comes on in more directly. But this is the Route 66. I went there last night. I want to do a review later on. But that is one, now perhaps my... Uh, favorite uh, Mexican restaurant. You can get like a 24 ounce beer there for like $2.99 and the food is cheap and great. I was shocked. I went there for the first time and that's what encouraged me to wake up in the morning and just start w doing a video walking down here. I just want to do this a little bit different. Now that has changed. Uh, that used to be the U-Haul or something like that. And they moved it, I think, down here about 10 blocks. I might walk down there. I don't know. I'm just I'm just walking it. I was going to walk that way to Rangeline, but the sun is so bright that, you know, you can't do nothing. Now, here's a good place. I want This is a good place. I've lived in Joplin for 24 years. If you need a vacuum repair or a used Kirby or something like that, usually you can get them online. Uh, cheaper but that's the place to go I've been there about four times and that is the place to be for a uh, for a uh, to get your vacuums worked on or just buy a used one never been there Mexican place you know as long as I've been in Joplin there's a lot of places I just haven't been to and I just kind of need to I just need to try some new things because I'm always the same same things and they're great places but you know I just I just want to try something new and, and uh, see what happens okay I want to do some little history rundown you see that building right there nothing even when I got here in 96 nothing can stay in that building it used to be like an old bar or something I don't know but for some reason no one wants to build or it, it just can't I, maybe it's just not right for the business around here but that building has always been shut down anyone who lives around here knows that I don't know what the gig is about it nice building they've always kept it nice though um, but that's that now on 7th Street you'll get a lot of these car places but anyone that's lived in Joplin knows that in um, there not there's not as many car places on 7th Street now as there used to be maybe it's just hard business times I don't know who knows I'll walk up here I might just walk up here to the Walmart up here and like I said I want to get a little bit more video this is gonna be a longer video I'm gonna come up with videos but they've only been like a minute long and it's been like refrigerator stuff. I don't think many people are interested in refrigeration. A lot of people like it when you go for a walk. You know, kind of explore around the town and stuff. But I just started this at 7 o'clock. I might do some range line walking too. We'll see. Okay, coming up on Lockheed Electric. Got There's a ton of electrical stuff in there. If you want to find anything of just everything in there that used to be the old consumers i think it was called consumers grocery store but you know walmart put them out of business and uh right up here is a fireplace i've only been here twice I find fireplace stuff it's expensive but if you have the money and you want to put in a new one you know a brand new one i i, I can't put in a brand new one you know through the whole ceiling and stuff it's too expensive. I got to do it the redneck way. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's that. If, 
And we'll come on up here a little bit more. Now here's Avis rent a car. Now I don't know if it's true or not, but did Hertz go out of business? The renting car? I don't know. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Okay, at the top of the hill, you can see at the distance the old downtown buildings. I wish I had a zoom on this uh, camera, but I don't. You can see them. Another car place to buy cars, and there's one down there too. And I'm coming up to the street down there. That's where the Walmart is at. See, here's more car dealerships. Tucker. Here's another one, but it's out of business. Now about, I don't know, was it 10 years ago? There was a big car dealership down here. I can't remember what it was called, but I think they moved to Rangeline. Some of these car dealerships have just moved, either went bankrupt or have moved to more to the range line area. You know, I'm going to be using my stabilization software on this video. I've been kind of wanting to use that more, so I'm going to try it out. Now, you see that building right here on St. Louis Street? I guess you could call it Connecticut Street, but St. Louis Street and 7th. Back then, that used to be a sports bar, but before that, it, well, it was closed, but before that, wasn't it like a, it was another bar, but wasn't it like a strip bar? I don't know, not really a strip bar, but uh, before the the uh, before the year 2000, it was, uh, I know I never went on in there, but, you know, there on that sign there, there was like dancing girls. Who knows? I don't know much of the past on that, but here's a smoke shop. This gets a lot of business. I actually have stopped in here a few times. Oh, there's a new U-Haul. You see it way down there? Can you see it? That's the new U-Haul. They moved into that the building. I think it was the Macy's or not the Walgreens. It was right beside the Walmart right there. But the Walmart kind of ran them out. Uh, and the U-Haul... Moved in. Oh, you can see the trolleys running now in Joplin. I think they've been running for about a week now in, in Joplin. Okay, here is uh, St. Louis and 7th Street. Okay, we got neighborhood market, trolley, and U-Haul. Oh, and Roper. And that right there, that's the um, food stamp area and the DFS area right there. I'm going to do this in a two-parter because it's such a nice morning. I think I'm going to walk all the way down there, but I'm going to stop here and um, I'm going to stop here and then uh, do the second part. Thanks, guys.